Whoa, can you believe it? It's been 10 years since Power BI was first launched and we started to like, like use this incredible service to deliver amazing analytics and insights to our businesses. On that time, there's been a whole bunch of updates. We've seen monthly update after monthly update, massive improvements in the service going from just Power BI to, to everything that's in fabric. And now we're finally seeing the first price increase in that entire time. Honestly, I'm kind of blown away about it. Let's, it totally kind of makes sense. Let's see why. All right, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you want early access to this content, become a member. And for as little as $5 a month, you can get early access to all these videos, okay? So <clears throat> here's the announcement. This came out in you know early November, so people have been sitting on this. I've seen other videos, but I wanted to like get out there and, and uh, like actually get my uh, in, in input on this, or want, want to let you guys know what I think about this and how you should be framing this up in your annual budget. So you want to be prepared for this. Um, uh, at least maybe you will. Some of you won't, so that's kind of nice. All right, so um, uh, on uh, November uh, 12th, they announced that Power BI Pro licenses was going from $10 a month to 14, and Power BI Premium per user was going from uh, $20 a month to 24. So basically, it's a $4 a month increase in price. That I, I mean, honestly, if you think about how much things have cost over the last 10 years, uh, this is this totally makes sense. I mean, 10 years ago, I I think my Netflix was like eight or you know maybe it was ten dollars, but now it's 15. It's been there for a while. So uh, the, I yeah, we're you just gotta keep up with inflation. Those things happen. And why? Like, are we just getting the same static stuff that we've had in Power BI from 10 years ago? The answer is heck no. Um, they, uh, they actually go through and articulate some real big highlights that were out there, right? The um, uh, launch in 2015, Power BI Mobile coming in 2016, Power BI Premium in 2017. That allowed for like large models to be deployed out into the service and 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 like scale-based solutions. Uh, we, we added Power BI Data Flows in 2018. Uh, if, if you're not familiar, I've got tons of videos on Power BI data flows. Basically, it allows you to load individual tables out into the service one at a time uh, versus having to load an entire model. Um, that, that was a huge advance because then if you had one, because before, when you load a whole model, if you've got hundreds of tables and one errors, the whole load errors and fails. So that sucks. Um, data flows allows for you to do individual ones. So that was awesome. 2019 is pageant reports or the old SSRS reports that was brought out into the service. So we now have that 2020, they added smart narratives and straight up smart narratives is one of my absolute favorite features that like, if you're not using, you should be using it because they really, what smart narratives do is it adds a natural language understanding of what's going on on, on any given report page which is honestly, it's super helpful for, for people who are not analysts to understand what the heck a page is, right? So that was added in 2020. So that's like five years ago now, right? Um, 2021, we saw a premium per user get added. Premium per user, which I, I got a, a new video coming out soon on uh, Fabric premium per user. Uh, uh, spoilers. Um, uh uh, but like that brought all of the capabilities that was just available on the premium capacities, larger sizes, faster refreshes, uh, some additional thing. Uh, Page reports was there, but now that's available everywhere. But those two are, are two big things. Those, those, uh, you know, larger models and, and additional refreshes and some other things. Those two things alone were, are worth more than worth the money uh, for Power BI premium per user. Then in 2022, we had uh, the the uh, Power BI integration of PowerPoint, allowing for like huge data stories to come out. And in 2023, the launch of Fabric, which is basically taking that that processing engine that po powers Power BI and making it you know transforming so that 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 unique engine is able to like run and drive all sorts of workloads out there, Spark, all that good stuff, right? So. We've seen a whole massive wave of advancements come in this platform, uh, you know, in the form of all of these different things. So 
you know, seeing a four dollar a month increase is honestly it's it should be expected at this point in time. Um, note there are like kind of four different or four different ways that you'd license uh, Microsoft Power BI. There's Power BI Pro. We talked about that. That's going from ten to four. Power BI Premium per user. That's going from twenty to twenty four. So again, uh, n- not a huge update. Power BI Embedded. No changes in pricing is being announced there. And Microsoft Fabric, again, these F SKUs are, are now the standard. No changes in pricing there. Okay. Some things to know about this new customers, this is going to directly impact you. Come, you know, if you spin up a new customer or your new clients coming on uh, on April 1st, 2025, you're going to be hit by those new prices, right? Existing EA customers or enterprise agreement customers. Um, uh, you, you'll be able to run through your current contract. So maybe your current contract ends at the end of June or whenever it ends, that's when that price point will adjust upwards. So some of you, if you just signed a contract, uh, you might be looking at two or three years before this price point hits you. Uh, a lot of you will, will be hit by this though uh, in come June though. So that will there will be a delay in the payout there. A note, and I've not heard anyone talk about this one. If you get a Microsoft 365 E5 suite and the O365 suite annual subscriptions, Power BI Pro is included with that. There is no uptick in price for for these subscriptions. And I'm also 95% sure, like I haven't seen the like pricing matrix hasn't been published, it won't come out till till April. So um uh, uh but I'm pretty sure that means that premium upgrade isn't, you know, they you know it's that premium upgrade is $10. That you know that $4 upgrade is on the pro license, it's on the premium side. So I'm pretty sure and I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, leave a comment down below. Um, uh, but I'm pretty sure this keeps, you know, that your, your price isn't going to change if you're on an e, E5 license. Um, and then if you're using Power BI Premium per user, you're not going to see an, an up, up charge there either, I don't believe. So this is a big deal. This is, all, this is also a huge reason to potentially reevaluate and consider should you be using the E5 license, right? Like a lot of people look at the E5 license and that monthly charge, they kind of break out which features they're using and they do like a cost benefit analysis. Like, okay, hey, and I don't know exactly what the E5 is now, but let's say it's $100 and you add up all of your the apps that you're using and it's $185. Well, $100 is much less, so you go with the E5 and you don't you get access to all the services you need plus many many more um so people are very happy with that some somebody was probably out there doing the math and sat down and went oh an e5 is a hundred dollars uh i'm using 99 dollars worth of services today uh this doesn't make any sense for me i'll just go ahead and and keep the individual services well, for everyone who with that four dollars a month makes a is a deal breaker, it it's time to start looking at upgrading from to that E five license and dropping those individual licenses. Okay, now lots of new announcements are coming out in this area. I, I think that four dollar upgrade, you know, while like I, I know I I saw this one person like post, I was like, oh my god, the price is going up forty percent. It's four dollars, right? Like I. When we're in the realm of business intelligence tools out there, there are a lot of tools that I, I, I can remember at one point in time evaluating a $700 a month a user license, right? So, like, there are tools out there that are really, really crazy expensive. Um, $4 a month is not a, is not a ton of money. Um, I, I would be shocked if there were a lot of companies that were really devastated by this. Um, but if you're working with those companies, you're maybe you're, i don't know i don't think it's a big deal let me know what you think maybe i'm completely wrong do you think it's a big deal do you think a four bucks uh first price point increase in in a decade with all the inflation we've seen is is a big deal let me know leave a comment down below i'm i'm very bullish on this this seems like okay yeah it's about time um i'd imagine a decade we're gonna see another one right like that's what happens right prices 
go up, especially on, on services that we're getting new great things coming out all the time on. All right. Um, I hope you enjoy the content. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it. All that good stuff. You have the best day ever. <laughs> Okay, I get it. The stuff is super confusing. We're talking about licensing. We're talking about model sizes. We're talking about reports, all that stuff. You need some help, though? It's too much for you and your company? Head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on get some help. And myself, one of my colleagues, will reach out to you. And we'll give you, we'll, we'll set something up. We'll give you a hand, all right? But if you think you can become a data guy on your own, I have faith in you. Here's two videos to help you do just that. <laughs>